Hey guys, one of the most important things for a content creator is keyword research. Now, even if you have a blog or even a YouTube channel, you want to make sure that the content you're targeting is actually content people search for or could provide you with a steady income stream via advertising. Now, there's a couple of ways that I determine what keywords I should use. And it's the vidIQ plugin, which gives me a little bit of information about the keyword score and whether the search volume is there and also how much competition there is. But there is a better way to determine the volume and advertising rate for keywords. I've just started using Keywords Everywhere. It's a free plugin for Chrome and Firefox. It'll give you free search volume, cost per click, and competitive data for all the keywords you'll ever need. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you want to go to keywordseverywhere.com. Keywords Everywhere is a free plugin, and it's going to give you a lot more information about your keyword research, and there's some nifty little tools in there too. So let's get this installed. Okay, so go to the Keywords Everywhere website, and I'll put the link down below. Then hit Install for Chrome. Then we go to Add Chrome, and just to validate, we want to add the extension. Now that goes ahead and installs it into your Chrome browser. But now we've got to go ahead and get the free Keywords Everywhere API key. So you just want to put in your email address and agree to the terms of service. And of course, email me the free API key. Now go ahead and go to your mailbox and retrieve your key. Then we want to go up to the Keywords Everywhere icon and go to Settings. So in the settings, there's a field called API key. Just paste in your key there and validate. And if it's correct, it'll tell you it's been validated. So you're ready to use keywords everywhere. So how do we use keywords everywhere? Well, whenever you're in Google and you type in a search phrase, you'll instantly see the actual keyword research. So here we've got making money has 69,000 views per month. Now, these are all based on Google AdSense, but they are relatable to YouTube as well. Uh, but we can see here that making money online actually has nearly three times as much, and it actually makes more money on the cost per click too. So when we hit enter, we'll not only have the information for the keyword we're searching for, but we'll also get some related keywords and also other keywords people have searched for. Now, you can export this to CSV, which is kind of nice, but if you're just doing keyword research, then you want to go ahead and just click on the stars of keywords that you're interested in. And then, when you go up to your Keywords Everywhere icon, so then you can see a summary list of the keywords you've researched. And this will give you a little bit more information about your keywords. It has the worldwide volume, and it has the US volume too. We go back up to the Keywords Everywhere icon. We can also change the setting from global to a number of, of countries around the world. So you can target your keywords specifically. And in the settings, you can change the currency. So you'll know exactly how much money you'll be making. Now there's a few other options here. You can enable and disable the metrics. And you can change the ranges so that you can filter out unwanted volumes and you can change which websites this tool is supported on. And as you can see, there's quite a few different types of websites here. Now, as I said, Keywords Everywhere is perfect for bloggers and also YouTubers, but let's have a look at a blog. Here's my blog here, and I'll go down to, say, this post here, 12 Easy Freelance Jobs for Beginners. Now, I did this work, and this, it's quite a lengthy post, but, I didn't really do a lot of keyword research for it. So let's go up to Keywords Everywhere and go to Analyze Page. So this will work on any website, so it doesn't need to be your own. And it's going to tell me that I did a 1,000 word post, which is a good number to do if you want to get ranked in Google. Now I can also see that I've got a number of keywords and phrases here, but I want to work out which ones actually have the most volume. So let's go down and have a look. We can see that there's a huge volume for YouTube and translations. And Instagram is pretty popular too. So it will give you some indication on some other 
keywords that you could use for future posts. Now, this particular keyword phrase I was using was easy freelance jobs for beginners. Now, I'm pretty happy that uh, the keyword density is about right, but I'm not so happy that the volume is only 40. So that's not so good. Now, freelance jobs for beginners, that's actually the keyword phrase I was using, and that actually has a volume of 1,000 and a cost per click of 32 cents. So the advertisers that come to this website will possibly advertise and you're making a reasonable return on your advertising rates. So that's how you would use it for blogs. So for YouTube, it's the same thing. In the search bar, you just type in a phrase and you can instantly see that the volume is 201,000 per month. Now our vidIQ in comparison is telling you that there's a huge volume here and the competition score is actually pretty low. So if you can rate for one of these, that's pretty good. And the cost per click is $1.65. Now what you'll also notice here is when I started typing in making money, it actually came back and gave me a whole list of options. Now these are the options you see in YouTube, but normally you don't have prices against them. So from this, we can say making money, the best opportunity here is actually making money Australia because there's actually $3.17 click-through rate. So I'm gonna start making a few videos specifically for Australians. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So this is keywords everywhere. You wanna go ahead and download this yourself and use this when you're doing your keyword research. Now, if you don't want it to be shown on every page, you can just click the keywords everywhere icon and change the on to off. And that way it doesn't appear in any of your new browser sessions. So go ahead and download Keywords Everywhere. It's a great keywords research tool and it's a must for content creators. So that's all I've got time for today. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, it's bye for now.